Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Mega Video Junkies. It's me, Aubrey. Today I'm going to show you my first impressions of the newest, hottest holiday releases from Mecca. As you can see, I have like my big Mecca box and I've never been this excited in my life, I kid you not. I'm going to do like a bit of a bold red lip and uh, quite a neutral, natural base. Before you do your makeup, you just have to prep your face. I mean, to be honest, skincare, you guys, is the heart of makeup. So I'm going to use the Tatcha Water Cream and just scoop it out a little bit. Oh, too much. <laughs> and then you just, it just feels like you're infusing your skin with water, which is the best kind of moisture, especially for hot weather in summer months. I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. We're going to take a little bit, a little bit on our fingers. It actually feels really good. It feels very moisturizing. A different kind of moisture to the water cream we just used. It's a little bit more oil based than the water cream, I think. Now I'm going to use the Drunk Elephant Eye Cream. My eyes have creases, like they crease a lot. Under eyes won't crease as much when you put on your foundation if you put on eye cream because it's a little moisturizing and stuff. Wow. But next, I'm going to spray my skin with the Touch of Luminous Dewy uh, Skin Mist. And oh, I'm not gonna lie, I did use this one before and it's so good. But it's just so nice on the skin. Mm. Now we are using, this is not a first impression, obviously if you watch my YouTube you would know I've probably purchased five of these already. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I don't know if I've ever seen my foundation look like this. I just keep on going back for second takes. Wow! So these products are definitely going into my ride or die drawer. My skin actually looks, like I literally look like I'm not wearing any makeup, even though I am. I am going to show you how I do my contour. This is the Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette that I'm so excited to try out. You guys, I am the queen of contour. Everybody knows I love a good contour and these shades look pretty damn banging. I'll be using the Mega Cosmetica brushes. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. They're really sort of dense. Basically guys, when you're choosing a shape to contour, I usually look at like my natural shadows. So maybe like here and then I just try to pick a shade that kind of matches that. Maybe I'll just mix a little bit of these two. Look at this mirror. It's absolutely huge. The forehead, I just contour it right in the middle because I have a pretty big forehead. Right after I contour, I, oh, I just, I can't, I can't not use this bronzer. So this is the Too Faced Sweet Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer, infused with peach and sweet fig, and it smells absolutely fantastic. Actually, it makes me quite hungry. For the bronzer, I might actually use the bigger brush because I feel like it needs to cover more area because I love my face lovely and warmed up. I'm actually gonna go back to this palette and I'm gonna just contour my nose as well using the smaller brush. I'm just gonna use the contour shade for my nose. I just basically go down the sides. Oh yeah, so I kind of bend my brush like this and then I take a little bit of the contour shade and just put it a little bit above the tip of the nose. And then with another brush, you just kind of Apparently Audrey Hepburn used to do this, so um, yeah, I'm a big fan. We are gonna bake. So this is my Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Fine Loose Setting Powder and Peach and Sweet I put it on my eyes right before I do eyeshadow because it makes the eyeshadow go on much easier. Then I put it on sort of under the eyes as well because that's usually where foundation tends to move for me. Set the contour as well. While that's happening, you guys, I am going to go in with the Too Faced Beauty Daydreamer palette. It actually looks like 
Is that the concept? I wonder if that's the concept. It looks like one of those childhood books, like picture books that you just open up and you look through before bed. You basically have like the blush, you have your contour and highlighter. There's a bit of a shimmery blush as well. Then there's all of these gorgeous eyeshadow shades. I'm gonna take Christmas Vacation and tap it off. And then I basically just put it into my crease. As you can see, it really warms up the crease already. And I, I love, you guys, I absolutely love putting bronzer into my crease. A little tip, keep your eyes open when you're doing your eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna take a bit of a darker brown. I'm gonna take on the rooftop and maybe uh, mix it with a bit of a chill peel. I'm just gonna concentrate it pretty much on the outer eye, but sort of go in a little bit. The placement of the shadow is really important. I'm gonna spray brush five with the Urban Decay Cherry Setting Spray. And whoop, that's enough. And then I'm just gonna take Let It Snow with a little star on top. Oh, and maybe Baby It's Cold. That looks like a good combination, okay. Just take it into the inner corner of the eye. And then with the brush three again, I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of you wish with some chill pill as well. I'm gonna put it on the bottom eye line to connect the whole look. These are the Stilla Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm so excited to use these literally because you have no idea. So these are the glitters. I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh my Eat your heart out. This one's in the shade Diamond Dust. This one is in the shade Plum On. And this last one is in the shade Smoky Storm. I think I'm gonna put Smoky Storm just on the top of my eyelid and maybe underneath actually. From my Stilla Kiss Me Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Set, I'm going to use the shade Beso Shimmer. You wanna take a little brush and you go around the edges of your lips. Once I've sort of done that, I just take a more to sort of top it up. This is my Mecca Max Liquid Light. Um, and I use this as my highlighter. I just put it on my nose, right here. And then obviously on the cheekbones, underneath the brow bone. Now I just kind of tap it in and it gives you a really lovely highlight actually. Really natural. Last step you guys, I'm taking my Urban Decay Cherry Scented Long Lasting Setting Spray once again. It, this one, it's amazing. It literally smells like cherry. Alrighty, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you loved the first impressions video that I made. If you want to see more, just subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below of what's on your wish list for Christmas. If you had to get any of these products from Makeup, which one would you get and why? And I will 